Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. And just before I went on vacation, I was sharing with you how to make the Sea Breeze Mini Junk Journal, and this is a continuation of that. If you like this video, if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and realize that I am live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'd love for you to come and hang out with me while I create. So I'm going to show you a couple of the pages that I made in the last video regarding this junk journal. So first I made these little pages where I used a mop-up page and stamped around the edges, and I used some digital images from Calico Collage. Those were the first two pages there. Then this was a piece of scrapbook paper that I added some stamping and I also used a chipboard piece that I have in my shop that I made. And the other side is sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and stamped again. I may add more stuff to that. I, have, I don't know. Sometimes I, I make a page and I leave it and sometimes I add more things. Here I used some scraps of paper that I had left over and made little side pockets. And this is one of those tear-off sheets. Then I've got a little tag in here. Then this side is the back side of a dictionary page that also has pockets. And here it is again. So I made those pages and I began to make the page that you see in front of me. So this page was scrapbook paper that I cut to the same height that I needed. It is 12 inches long, so I folded that in half. And then judging by the other journal pages, so let me grab one. So using one of the other journal pages, I then folded in the sides so that I could have little fold out flaps on it. And then this will fit, this will be one of my covers, so that will fit right inside. So we used some stencils last time. This was the net stencil, and I used a blending brush with the Distress Oxide on here. And I think what I'd like to do now is kind of decorate this just a little bit more. I'm going to do that by putting this in my spray box really fast. A lot of people ask me what my spray box is. It's just a box, y'all. It's just a box. Whatever kind of box that you have that your project will fit in. The idea is just to kind of help contain the spray so it doesn't spray all over my work surface and I have to wipe it up. It attaches to the inside of the box and it's easier to clean up. So what I'm going to do is grab a couple of colors here. What do I've got? I've got Artsy Patina and I'm going to spritz that over the top. Oh yeah, I like that. That's the only color I need, I think. Wait, I changed my mind. I'm going to use Blarney as well. So just to give a little bit of a green tint. Not a lot, just a tiny amount. You see that? I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to do it again. Since I have the spray box out, I also have a couple of pieces of paper here. So these are just two and a half inches by about four and a half inches. These were scrap of paper that I just kind of trimmed just a little bit to be a journaling card to go in my journal. And I thought what I'd do is I'd put that on there and let me grab, I'm going to grab a different stencil and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the September Stencil Club here. And I'm going to grab Curious Tattered Angels and spritz that on. And I'm going to grab a little bit of the Blarney as well. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to mop this up. I'm just grabbing a piece of paper that I have laying here. Oh, I like it. I think that'll be really cool. All right, so I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Now, I've got the little mermaids that are chipboard that I cut on my laser. So I'm going to lay these in here. I'm going to kind of put them down at the bottom of the page. Just so that I can spray this page and get another design at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and spray these a really dark color. I've got blue steam from the punked out steam tattered angels that I have in my shop. And I'm going to spritz the girls with that. I'm going to add a little bit of some artsy patina. A little bit of green. 
And then I think I'm going to grab, I've got a gold here. This is an iridescent gold. So that's going to give it some really good shimmer. And it may be hard for you all to see it on camera, but she's got some really pretty shimmer and she's got some texture to her. So I'm going to set those aside for a moment. And now I've kind of made a page that already has some coloring on it. And I can use that in a larger journal if I want later on. I've also got some, what is this called? Uh, cheesecloth. <laughs> My words failed me. So I've got a little piece of cheesecloth here and I'm separating it out because I want to be able to get good saturation of color. It may rip a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to use pieces of it anyway. So what I'm going to do is kind of lay that in my box and I'm going to grab a couple of greens. I've got artsy green, which is from the So Artsy Tattered Angel kit that I have in my shop. And I'm going to spritz that green. And then I'm going to grab some of the blue steam from the punked out steam set and color it just a little bit. I want some of that really deep almost a seaweed green blue color add just a little bit of artsy patina and then I'm going to dry this with my heat tool okay so I've got my little journaling cards that I started a while ago they're still a little bit damp but that's okay and then I've got my chipboard pieces I should probably dry these a little bit longer but I think they'll be fine and then I've got a little piece of this um, cheesecloth here. And I think what I want to do is kind of get a couple of pieces going. Probably like about that. All right, so I'm going to take a little piece of this and kind of wind it around my little mermaid here. Yeah, so she's kind of got it twined around her. I'm going to do that again over here. I kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I'm just going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. I'm going to use an acrylic block to lay on top of it to help smoosh it down and get it flat. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so while that is drying, we'll come back to it in a moment. Let's work on the actual page itself. So I've went ahead and selected a few fussy cut elements that are from Calico Collage or digital downloads and I'll have the links in the description box below. This one is part of the Sea Breeze journal kit and I thought that would look really cute as a pocket on here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down on two sides to make this a pocket. And then I've got one of the fussy cut elements. It's a little seashell here. And I think that would look really cute here in this lower corner. So I'm just going to put glue basically on two sides to make this a little tuck spot. And then I've got another one of the fussy cut elements that I thought would look really cute right here. So I'm going to glue that one down. And then I've got a starfish here. And I think I need to alter that starfish. So I'm contemplating that as I'm gluing this one down. I'm going to use I Love the Ocean. This is another add-on elements file that you can get from Calico Collage. And I shrunk it. I printed it as a smaller image so that I could have the smaller words for the mini journal. The journal I'm making is approximately 5x7. I told my printer to print as 5x7. And make sure that you check mark the little box that says fit to page so it will fill it out and it will make it a true 5x7 piece of paper. And the journal size is five inches tall and three and a half inches wide, approximately. All right, so with the little starfish here, I think I need to give him some color. And I'm thinking maybe kind of an orangey. And I've got a couple of the colors from the punked gold. And this one is called Coral Reef. It's almost empty, so I'm going to try to use it up. So I'm shaking it up just a little bit. And we're going to spray this. And I've got another one that I'll spray at the same time so I can do both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the Coral Reef. And then I'm going to spray it with the Punked Gold. It's a little bit darker than I want, but let's dry it and see what it looks like. I think I like it. It's got that peachy, uh, shimmery kind of gold to it. So I think it's going to look kind of cute on here. So let's glue this one down. And then I've got this little saying that says, I need vitamin C. And I thought that might look kind of cute, kind of going over the top of it. It's kind of cute, isn't it? 
All right, so then I'm gonna flip this out. I have a little seashell stamp here that's from Beeline Designs, and I've got my archival ink. So I think what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be somewhat in the center. I'm gonna stamp the seashell where it's split between both sides there. And that means you'll see half of it on this side. And then I've got the word journal and I think I'm going to stamp that up here like so yeah I think that I like that and I've got a little bit of washi tape here so let me pick one that I think oh here we'll do this one I'm gonna put a little washi tape going from the edge in just a little bit Cause it's shimmery and shiny and then I've got a couple of these shell images that I thought might look kind of cute on top so kind of seeing how I want to put those maybe like that yeah let's do that all right so I've got my little mermaid card here and maybe we should put tropical dreams on there. I think that would look really cute. I've got a little baggie of some flat back gems. Let me see what I can find that maybe would look kind of cute. Maybe that would be good. This one's smaller. I don't know. I don't know if I like that one, but I think this size will work. Um, it comes in a strip in this particular case. And what I'll do is take my scissors and just snip between. And then I can pop this off the backer sheet and place this kind of on her hand. So she's holding it. Isn't that kind of cute? And then this is going to go right here on the little journal card like that all right so let's do the other one while we've got everything laid out here and here's the other page that I made so I went ahead and did the same concept putting the pocket on there using one of the circle images and a tag and then the starfish shipfish over here and the saying and then one of the shell images over here with the saying and on this side we use some different shells on the inside with the washi tape and then a couple of the rubber stamps so that's pretty cool all right so we've got another page made so let's set this one aside all right so this time i have another journal page that was made by using a mop-up page so i have cut that down to the size that i want then i had a scrap left over from one of the scrapbook pieces and i thought that would make a fun pocket on here and what else do i have got this guy oh yeah and i think Let's go ahead, I've got these anchors, and let's go ahead and spray these with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I'm going to spray these with It's Black, Tattered Angels first, and then I'm going to go back with a craft. It's a brown. Sometimes the Tattered Angels will clog up a little bit, and what I found is if I take a little bit, I've got a little spray bottle of alcohol, and spray it on there, usually I can clean it up with a towel, just wipe it off, and then it will start spraying. So that's one thing to do if your sprayers kind of clog up just a little bit, is just kind of clean it off a little bit. And if I will remember to wipe it clean before I put it away, then usually it doesn't clog up like that. All right, so let's dry these. Well, I thought this would look really cute on this piece. So it's kind of got that black undertone, but it's got a gold, kind of a coppery gold on top of it. So that'll be really cute there, I think. I'm going to go ahead and add some Distress Inks around the edges of this piece. 
All right, so this is going to go on here. I want to make sure that my page is folded in half so I have the right size paper and everything. And I think that'll be good. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down as a pocket. I've got a little piece of this uh, cheesecloth that I painted earlier, and I thought maybe it might look kind of cool wrapped around the anchor, and then this would be glued down on top. So I think that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue that down right there. I'm liking it. Isn't that looking super cute? All right, so let's go ahead and open this up for a second. And I've got the sandpipers. It's a rubber stamp that I have in my shop. But I thought it'd be kind of cute to put a little decoration over here on this side. Yeah. So that gives a little room, a little decoration on that page that you can write on. And you've got room up here that you can write if you want as well. So let's flip this over. I have this palm tree image that I thought might look cute if I stamp it kind of off the page. So I'm just going to line it up with the bottom and then stamp that off the page. So it will be sticking, sticking into the sides. So I'm going to do that again on here on this other side. This time I, I came in just a little bit further, but I think it looks pretty cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one so that it's not bumpy and it will get a better impression. That looks pretty cute. Okay, so we stamped here and here. And we've got the pocket started. And then I've got a couple of seashell type images. And I thought maybe I'll put one, let's put one right here. And then I've got all these little tags. This is just a scrap of paper and one of the one inch squares. And I just rounded the corner and added some distress ink. So I thought that'd be cute. And then this is from the Seabreeze kit as well as this journal card. It's just shrunk down just a little bit. So I think this one, that's done. I think that's pretty cute. So let's finish the other one and then I'll have another page set done. I forgot to put this little flag on the first one. So I'm going to put this one right up here. And I've got this one that says vitamin C. I need vitamin C. Okay, so here is another page set made. So this is what the insides look like. And then this is what the other side looks like. Again, using some more of the Calico collage items. I thought those would be pretty cute. All right, so let's put these aside. This time I have some scrapbook paper that I cut to be the size that I wanted for my journal page. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. And then I made like a little corner piece out of a scrap. I folded a piece of paper in half after I cut it into a square. And that's going to fit right here across this corner. I've added some distress inks around the edge. So what I'm going to do is add glue on two sides of this triangle and make it into a pocket. I've got this little starfish image that I thought would be cute right on top there. And on this other side over here, I wanted a vertical belly band. And sometimes if you make a belly band and you glue it down, you don't have the full width of or the height of your band. So what I did was I took a couple of pieces of scrap paper and I glued it to the back side and folded that up. So now what I'm going to do is put glue here and here. And when I put this down, that will give me the full size to be able to slip a card right behind there and not interfere with the band being glued down onto my page. So I'm just going to be very careful and put a little bit of glue right around that edge and across the top, kind of fill in the middle. I'm going to do that again on this other piece. And then I'm going to find the center point. And we're going to glue this right down. This was just scraps of paper that I had laying on my desk. And I thought it would be a cute belly band if I put it on here. I've got another one of the fussy cut images that I thought was super cute, especially since we're putting it on top of the uh, seahorses. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right down the center. This is about a one inch strip and put that right here. Cute. All right, I haven't done anything to this side, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this into the spray box and spray the back side just a little bit. Since I used this one earlier, I'm gonna use it again. So we'll have the repeat, if you will, inside the journal. And I think what I wanna do 
If the front side's kind of an orangey color, let's do the artsy green on here. I'm very lightly spraying it, not a whole lot. And I think, let's do artsy patina. And let's do a little craft. There we go. I'm going to make sure to wipe off my bottle since that one has a tendency to clog up a little bit. So that gives us some fun texture, doesn't it? All right, so let's finish decorating this out. I'm just going to grab some more of these little one inch squares because I, I like them. They're kind of cute. <laughs> let's put one on each corner there. Maybe we should stamp something across the bottom. I think the little anchor would be kind of cute. So I'm going to stamp this in the corner here. I'm going to do that again over here. Oh yeah, I like that. And then we'll put these at the top. So that's what we'll do. We'll glue those down and then we'll do the other one as well. So here's another little scrap that I made into a tag using one of the images. And this is one of the tags that I shrunk that is part of the Seabreeze kit. So I think that would be really cute right there. And then here's a journal card that I made earlier that's going to slip right inside there. I like it. Super cute. All right, so let's set this one aside. Let's finish the other page in the same fashion. Okay, so now I've got the other page made. So on this one, I used one of the palm tree images. And then I've made another pocket on this side. And of course, over here, we stamped in the same fashion as we stamped the other journal page. And my card fell out, so let me put it back in. And then this one we made earlier. Okay, so now I have all the pages made that I think I'm going to put in here. We're going to work on the cover and then putting the journal together. Okay, so for my covers, basically what I've got here are a couple of the images that I selected from the Seabreeze kit. This one I printed where I could have it on both sides. This one was an afterthought, and the way I printed it, I couldn't quite figure out the way I wanted to print the backside. So basically I printed another journal page onto regular copy paper and pasted it on the backside. So it's a little bit thicker, but I like the effect of having the little fishies on the outside and the fishies and shells on the inside. So now what I'm going to do is take all my pages and then sort them out so I can stack them together and put them together as a journal. Okay, I think I've got it laid out the way that I want the pages to go together in the journal. And what I'm going to do is pick up the first cover and then pick up the top page and then start stacking them together. So I've got my junk journal tools out here. I keep them in a little canvas bag so I know where they are. And what I'm going to do now is make sure that all my pages are stacked together, that they're centered from top to bottom make any adjustments that need to be made, and I'm going to use these giant paper clips to hold it together. I've got a little template here that I've made that has three holes marked in it, and what I'm going to do is line this up and then use my Tim Holtz craft pick, Tim Holtz Tonic Studio little craft pick. I like it because it's retractable, and I'm going to poke three holes for a pamphlet stitch to bind this journal together. I'm going to grab some wax linen thread and I want three times the height of the journal selected so that I can bind it. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. And since I'm making two journals, I'm just going to double this so that I don't have to cut another piece off. I've got my book binders needle here. This is a needle that I offer in my shop and I'm going to thread this up and we're going to start in the middle and do the pamphlet stitch. So start in the middle, going to pull my tail and hold it so that it doesn't pull all the way through. Go to the front of the cover and go in the top hole. I'm going to pull this tail up to the top. I want to make sure that I pull this tight up out of the way and I'm going to go back through that center hole but try not to split my thread. So now we're on the outside again. And I'm going to come up from the bottom. 
And now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to take my needle, kind of get this up out of the way, and go under the first complete stitch on the inside of the journal. I'm going to pull this down in opposite directions. And what I want to make sure is that it's tight here and here and on the outside there's no additional loops because that has happened to me a few times and I'm going to go ahead and just tie it off what we call a square knot or some people call it a surgeon knot tie it once and then tie it again I'll cut off the excess now you can choose to cut your threads all the way off at the base if you want but I think what I'm going to do is see if I've got enough and I think I do I've got some of these little square images left over and I think I have enough to do both journals I do okay so I'm just gonna lay those all out and what I'm gonna do is glue these over the strings back to back there's the first journal let's go ahead and bind the second one and then we'll do a flip through all right so it's got both tight so I'm going to do a square knot again okay so now I've got the journal put together and last time that we were working on this journal I had a challenge for y'all to go to my web page and create a user account and then come back to the video and say I have created a user account and then tell me anything you would like about the journal and you'd be entered to win one of these journals secondly I have a special in my shop that if you purchase one of the mini journals you also get to choose any one of my stencils in addition to that journal for free and then once I have sold all 10 of those journals I will raffle off another one of the journals to those people who made a purchase so I've got two promotions going on I'm going to give just a little bit more time for everybody to get entered in and then we will draw the winners my goal was to draw the winners on September the 23rd but because I was gone it took a little bit longer so possibly a couple more days and then we will announce the winners all right so let's flip through this journal so this is one of the covers and then I chose one of the fishy journal pages for the inside cover and then on this side I also have another little piece that I made I had a journal page or journal cover that I was going to use but when I printed the back side it was upside down so here's what I did I cut the page in half and then I attached it across the top and then I added a couple of pages from one of those tear off journals and a little bit of washi tape there and I thought this would be really cute if it would slip over the page so you have additional journaling spot if you will it could also be a bookmark as well here's another journaling page there so you've kind of seen how I've put these together there were eight journal pages or physical pieces of paper that I use I love having this fold out page because that gives you quite a bit of extra journaling space in the journal it's just fun to create these little mini journals because they'll fit in your pocket you know, a lot of people ask me that what do I do about my pages sticking out of my cover I don't mind it's part of the handmade journal you know we're not a going to a professional book binding place that we're mass producing thousands of books so I think it's okay that it has that handmade look that pages are falling out and then here is this journal and I've got another one of these pages that turned into a little flip tag that I thought would be cute and I'll put that right inside there well again make sure that you check out the description box that you check, head over to my website created a user account and then you're going to add a comment that says hey I've got a user account I want to win and then tell me anything that you would like to share about the journal that I have made today or the journals that I have made today well thank you so much for watching everybody and again remember I go live on Mondays at 3 45 p.m. and on Thursdays at 12 30 p.m. Central Standard Time and I hope you enjoyed these please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I hope you'll come back and visit me again I greatly appreciate you following me and your support you give me again check that link 
the description box for links below and I have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.